So you wanna dunk a basketball, but all that you have to work with is a set of dumbbells? Well, that's okay, because that's all you need. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a dumbbell workout for vertical jump so that you can jump higher and dunk a basketball. Young visionary, and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan. You either steady living life or you afraid to die, but if you don't take that leap, how you know that you Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, make sure that you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, click the bell so that you never miss another video, and comment jump down below in the comment section if you want a free body weight vertical jump training program. Today's question is from Big Boy, who says, what dumbbell workouts can I do to make my leg muscles stronger for jumping? I need five more inches to dunk the basketball. So. We know that in order to dunk a basketball, in order to jump higher, we need to do two things. We need to increase our strength, and we need to increase our speed of movement, or our rate of force development, or our explosiveness, okay? So strength and explosiveness, you put them together, that equals a higher vertical jump. So I'm gonna get the whiteboard, and I'm gonna give you a few examples of workouts that you can do if you only have access to one set of dumbbells. All right, ladies and gents, so here's what I want you to do. First of all, here are the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There are the days of the week. What the heck is going on? On Monday, I want you to do your dumbbell workout plus plyometrics. Okay, dumbbells plus plyos, and I'll tell you what to do in a second. On Wednesday, I want you to do a jump session or a dunk session. And then on Friday, I want you to do your dumbbells again plus your plyometrics. On Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, I want you to do either upper body or stretching and foam rolling, okay? So you should be doing stretching and foam rolling every single day, but these are the days you could do upper body, core, etc. I want Sunday to be a rest day for you. So here's what you should do. On Monday, I want you to do squats. Okay? Doesn't matter how heavy or light your dumbbells are, even if you, all you have is a five pound dumbbell, that will still be more effective and more resistance than just using your body weight. So whatever dumbbells you have, either use dumbbells in both hands, or if you only have one dumbbell, use that dumbbell in one hand, but do squats. And I would do four sets of 10 reps with the squats, and I would focus on moving your body explosively. So try to go from the bottom of the rep with squats to the top of the rep as fast as you can, okay? So squats, we're doing four sets of 10. On Friday, I want you to do dumbbell deadlifts, okay? Dumbbell deadlifts, four sets of 10, okay? Same thing. The next exercise that I want you to do is dynamic step-ups, okay? And I want you to do that as well on Friday, dynamic step-ups. Um, let's say we'll start with three sets of six, and then we'll progressive overload from there. So I want you to go to three sets of eight, and then three sets of 10, and three sets of 12. Then go back down to six reps, but do four sets of six, four sets of eight, four sets of 10, four sets of 12. Once you get to four sets of 12, I want you to take out the dynamic step ups and change them for explosive step ups. Okay, explosive step ups. Okay, so we are holding weights, and at this point, we're going to be doing explosive step ups, exploding up off of the bench or a folding chair if you're doing it at home or any type of chair, your mommy's couch, doesn't matter what you use. But this is going to increase our strength and increase our explosiveness, therefore increasing our vertical jump, okay? And then with explosive step ups, I'll do the same thing. Start with three sets of six, then go three sets of eight, three sets of 10, three sets of 12, and then four sets of six, four sets of eight, four sets of 10, four sets of 12, et cetera, okay? So after the, or after the dynamic step ups and then explosive step ups once you progress that far, I want you to do one leg RDLs, okay? One leg Romanian deadlifts. 
Okay, this is going to strengthen your hamstring and strengthen your glute. You're not gonna do these explosive, you're gonna do these slow and controlled. Try to balance on that one leg. Don't let your other foot touch the ground. Okay, so whichever leg you are balancing on, try not to let the opposite foot touch the ground. Okay, and same thing with these. You're gonna do three sets of six, and then you're gonna progressive overload from there, three sets of eight, etc. After your one leg RDLs, I want you to do kettlebell swings. Okay, and I realize you don't have a kettlebell, just do dumbbell swings, okay? So kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings for three sets of 10 reps, and I want you to progressive overload to three sets of 12, and then three sets of 15, and then four sets of 10, four sets of 12, four sets of 15 with kettlebell swings. This is an explosive movement, gonna increase your strength, gonna increase your explosiveness, going to increase your vertical jump, okay? So kettlebell swings on both of these days. Okay, after our kettlebell swings, I want you to get into your plyometrics, okay? Here's what I want you to do. If you have any plyometrics that you really love, I want you to do them now. Plyos that you love, okay? Both of these days, plyos that you love, go right there, okay? Once you're done doing the plyometrics that you love, and I think you should start with, you know, maybe one exercise that you love, and then after you do it for like two weeks, then add another exercise, then add another exercise. Um, this way you can still add in the exercises that you like the most. After you do the plyometrics that are your favorite, then I want you to do body weight. I'm running out of space on my whiteboard. Body weight squat jumps, okay? Body weight squat jumps for three sets to failure, okay? You're going to failure. You're exhausting yourselves on these, okay? so. Do squat jumps until you can't do squat jumps anymore. Then rest two minutes and do another set, rest two minutes and do your last set. Three sets to failure on squat jumps, okay? After that, I want you to do three sets of sprints, okay? Three sets of sprints. Sprints as fast as you can, Brrr. plyometrics, okay? Explosive plyometrics, sprints. It's almost one of the best ply plyos that there are for you to do. So. You're gonna do these on this day too. So body weight squats, and then you're gonna do sprints, okay? Same thing over here. The only thing that's different over here is the deadlifts, okay? This is going to be your deadlift day, this is your squat day. So this is your plan right here. This is your plan. But one last thing, after you do body weight squat jumps for about a month, then you can start holding your dumbbells and change these body weight squats for Dumbbell squat jumps, okay? Dumbbell squat jumps. So do your dumbbell squat jumps until failure and then drop the weights and then continue with body weight squat jumps to failure, okay? And then jump days on Wednesdays. Ladies and gents, this is a workout with dumbbells only that can send your vertical through the roof. It will increase your strength, increase your explosiveness, therefore increasing your power output, therefore increasing your vertical jump. Okay, so there you have it. Leave a question down below if you want me to answer your question on a video just like this. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell if you have not already. Comment, jump down below for our free body weight program and take action because action is everything. Knowledge is not power, it is only potential power until you take action on what you know. You don't get results in your life by thinking about it. You get results by thinking about it, planning it, but then actually going out, putting it into action and doing it. I'll see you in the next video. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan. You either steady.